because being needy is an unhealthy way to, to be. But we have needs, and how can we take care of our needs in a healthy manner? Well, without God, it gets pretty squirrely, if you want to say that at, at best. So, even though we want to be independent, our physical needs at times can dominate our focus, depending on where we are. Uh, you know, when my computer went down nearly eight months ago, I needed somebody to help me out. When did I need that need? Well, I was thinking right then and there, and you know, how I am during the way when it comes to computers and like. And, uh, but our need, like Esau, that we may have in a moment, can also blind us for our need in the future. So, Esau had a legitimate need. He needed food. He, yeah, he, was, he was very hungry. I don't know if he was starving, but it was completely, but it was looking that way. And so, for that need, in the moment, he sold his birthright. Needy kind of guy. <laughs> you know, who, who, who taught him out of his future, so he sold his future for a bowl of pottage because there was a need, and that need seemed to be absolutely paramount. But what Jesus says here in Matthew is, he talks about food, clothing, and shelter. So let's, let's take a look at sometimes how that is considered. The older generation might say to their spouse, what are you complaining about? I provide food, clothing, and shelter. I take care of your needs. Uh, but what about relationship? And what about love? You know, when we talk about the need for relationship, we talk about love, and we recognize what John says of God. God is love. There, there is an absolute innate need for all of us to love and to be loved. Not just temporarily, but actually to, to feel and to experience that all the time. Even in our difficulties. This is why this is important for us to understand that God loves us even in the times when we have needs and when we're thinking that God is not taking care of us in the way in which we want with the expediency which we think we ought to have. So Jesus said, you know, life is more than meat and shelled clothes and shelter. It is more than that. So Jesus goes to the point of life. So what is life? And what is he talking about? Something that's far more important. And that is life, not just in this life, but also eternal life that God is offering to us. And Jesus also makes a statement, and it's important to realize what, that we have a need to understand things that are beyond us. So Jesus makes a statement in, to his disciples in John chapter 6, verse 63. He says, you know, uh, you need to understand the flesh profits nothing. And he's like, whoa! And then he tells them that the words that I'm speaking to you are spiritual. Adam and Eve thought they had the need to know both knowledge of good and evil. And we live in a world today where it is a pressing thing, the need to know. And we get very upset when we don't know. And uh, it can come out in different ways. So, like I say, I don't know how my computer is going to operate. For me, I'm, uh, if I don't know where I'm going, I may not have a camper. And, but the need to know. So we're, we're bombarded today with all kinds of information as if we need to know everything. The bottom line is that people are getting crazier and crazier because we aren't capable of holding all the information that is in the world about what's going on with everybody. How many of us as parents, when our kids finally grow up and they move out of the house, as opposed to when they're living in the house and they're not home at 11 or 11.30 or maybe not home, we need to know. When they don't live with us, all of a sudden we find, I didn't know what I didn't know, and thankfully I didn't know because if I knew. Then we also find those stories when our kids are 40 or 45 and they start telling us the things that they think we need to know about what they were doing back then, and you're thinking, 
whoa, you know, I don't need to know. As many of us also have the ability to uh, not tell our parents. The world today is a challenging environment for Christian believers and followers of Jesus Christ. Looking for answers? Grace Communion International local churches in Fairfield, Santa Rosa, and Modesto offers a comforting environment for Christians in search of spiritual growth and development. Contact a local ministry. Attend their local GCI churches at the times listed on your screen.